God makes a way where there seems to be no way. When you're stuck, when you're confused, when your back's against the wall, when your marriage is struggling, when your finances aren't doing well, when your children aren't doing well, when you have a health issue, God makes a way where there seems to be no way. Where there's no way to turn, there's nothing to do, there's, everything is lost, God makes a way where there seems to be no way. Father God is the way maker. Isaiah 43, verse 16, the New Living Translation reads, I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea, the Red Sea for his people. One more, Isaiah 43, verse 1, Message Bible. When you're in over your head, I'll be there with you. When you're in rough waters, you will not go down. When you're between a rock and a hard place, it won't be a dead end. Seems to me that there are a lot of people finding themselves between a rock and a hard place. Now these powerful verses state very clearly that God can make a way that he is the way maker. He is the path opener. He is the trail blazer. He is the road builder. He makes a way when there is no way. So there is no way, there is no way, but, but he makes one. Or there seems to be no way and he reveals one that we couldn't see or haven't seen. He makes a way when it is impossible to us. Have you ever been between a rock and a hard place? Ever feel like you can't make it? Ever, ever feel like you, you can't, it's impassable, you, you can't make it? Yeah, I've been there a few times. Ever feel like you're in over your head? I mean, the situation's just too deep. You're, you're treading water. Throughout scripture, one principle is always constant. God can make a way when there seems to be no way. There are times when life hands us situations and many are in them now with the atmosphere in our world. Situations in which our faith must rise and push us to keep right on going. Trusting that God will make a way for us to pass through the difficult times. To pass through the, the trying time. Pass through the unknown places. To pass through the unknown destinations. Times you can't when you can't see. Like Abel, sacrificial times. Like Noah, like Noah's stormy times, like Abraham, times when there's destinations before you that you can't, you can't know, you can't see. Like Sarah, barren times, like Elijah, lonely times, like Job, painful times, homesick times, testing times, deathbed times. Just plain old times when it takes faith to handle what we don't know or see or feel or hear or understand. Times when we have to put our faith in the way maker. If you will trust him, you can find him to be the way maker just like everyone that I just mentioned in the scripture. It's been my experience that God doesn't mind getting between a rock and a hard place and creating ways for his people. Listen to me today when I tell you that God can make a way where there is no way. When, when, hold on, when you are in one of those places where you say there's no way out of this. 
there's no way through this. There's nobody that can help me with this. This is the one that's going to destroy me. This is the situation that is the end of me. That's when God steps up and says, you can put your trust in me because I can do anything. The things that we think are blocking us, God is going to use to bring us victory. When we feel lost and we can't find our way, we're going to find out that God will always make a way. Unseen hands are working. You may not see it, but unseen hands are working. Unseen plans are are forming and unfolding. You may not see it, but that doesn't mean that it isn't happening. He's working behind the scenes to turn things for your good, to turn things around for your families, to turn things around for prodigals, to turn things around. He's, he's working behind the scenes on ways to bless you. He's working behind the scenes on ways to, to provide for you, to open paths of connection for you. He's leading others into your life that you don't even know about, couldn't possibly know about. He's leading others into your life that will become the answers to your heart cry, answers to your prayers. He's blazing a path beyond the dead ends. He doesn't stop when it looks like it's over. Never has. He makes a way. That's why Hebrews 11 teaches so emphatically, keep going. Keep trusting, keep believing, don't quit. What for you is a dead end, to him is an entryway to a place you haven't seen yet. To a place of awesome victory. His love will will make a way for you to get there. He's the way maker. He has a plan that we haven't seen yet. Oh, I'm confident of that. There's no dead end to him. And I came today to tell you, he's the way maker. You may not see it, but he's the way maker. You may have came in today or you may be watching today and you say, I cannot see this. It's okay. He's behind the scene. He's working and he's the way maker. He's going to anoint you to see beyond the dead end. And he's going to anoint you to move into an area you didn't even know anything about. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. And I want to add this to it. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Just don't forget him when you get there.